climate change's effects are most pronounced in the Arctic, a region that, over the last 40 years, has experienced warming at a rate approximately four times that of the global average. This stark increase in warming, amounting to over 3 degrees Celsius since the early 1980s, is primarily attributed to the significant reduction in sea ice. Here are seven major reasons why an ice-free Arctic is quickly becoming a reality. 1. Rising temperatures. The Arctic region is experiencing an accelerated warming trend, with temperatures rising at a rate roughly double that of the global average. This significant increase in temperature contributes to the extensive melting of sea ice and glaciers, altering the region's natural landscape. As a result, ecosystems and wildlife in the Arctic are facing unprecedented changes and challenges. 2. Albedo Effect Ice and snow possess a high reflective capacity, sending the majority of the sun's energy back into space, a phenomenon crucial for maintaining Earth's temperature balance. However, as global temperatures rise, this ice begins to melt, revealing the darker surfaces of the ocean or land beneath, which absorb a greater amount of solar energy. This absorption exacerbates the warming process, triggering additional ice melt in a self-reinforcing cycle known as the albedo effect, intensifying global warming's impact. 3. Greenhouse Gas Emissions the combustion of fossil fuels such as coal, oil, and natural gas leads to the emission of greenhouse gases, notably carbon dioxide and methane, into Earth's atmosphere. These gases trap solar heat, effectively thickening the atmospheric blanket and contributing significantly to the phenomenon known as global warming. Notably, the Arctic region acts as a substantial reservoir of methane, which is released into the atmosphere, further amplifying the greenhouse effect and accelerating the warming process. 4. Seasonal Variations The phrase ice-free is commonly used to describe a specific scenario in the Arctic where the extent of sea ice dwindles to less than 1 million square kilometers during the period of its annual summertime minimum. This represents a dramatic decline from historical averages, highlighting a significant reduction in ice coverage. Such a change underscores the severe impacts of global warming on Arctic ice conditions. 5. Scientific Predictions and Models According to numerous climate models and scientific research, there is a strong forecast that, should the current rates of global warming persist, the Arctic region may endure its inaugural ice-free summers before the end of this century. More aggressive projections suggest that this significant environmental shift could occur as early as within the next 10 years, marking a drastic change in the Arctic's ecological landscape. 6. Impact on Wildlife and Indigenous Communities the diminishing sea ice in the Arctic exerts profound effects on the region's wildlife, particularly species like polar bears and seals that depend on the ice for vital activities such as hunting and securing habitat. Concurrently, indigenous communities, deeply intertwined with this environment, confront significant alterations to their traditional lifestyles and cultural practices, posing challenges to their long-established ways of life. 7. Global Climate Impacts the diminishing Arctic ice has far-reaching impacts beyond its immediate environment, influencing global climate systems in profound ways. This reduction can lead to alterations in weather patterns, disruption of ocean currents, and changes in the global ecosystem. Additionally, the loss of polar ice contributes to the rising of sea levels worldwide, presenting a direct threat to coastal communities and habitats. In summary, it's crucial to understand that the term ice-free denotes a significant decrease in Arctic sea ice, particularly during the summer months, but does not imply a complete absence of ice year-round. Even under ice-free conditions, the Arctic is anticipated to maintain some level of ice cover during the colder winter months. However, this winter ice is expected to be much thinner and cover a smaller area than historically observed, reflecting the ongoing impacts of global warming. Thanks for watching.